If you are a Salesforce developer and appearing for an interview, these questions can be really helpful to you. So let's move on to the first question. The first question is that in an LWC component, I am showing five fields using template for each. Thus, having only one lightning input wrapped around the template for each. Now, on populating the field number, number one, how can we hide number five field? Okay, so basically what does this mean is, let's say this is a form that I have. I field number one, two, three, four, and five. Now, on populating this particular field, okay, what I want to do is, I want to hide this particular fifth field. Okay, now I'm measuring that all these fields that are coming are coming from the field set itself. Okay, so this is how the code would probably look like. <clears throat> we have a template for each from the field sets. We're getting fields one by one, and then we are showing them within the lightning input, right? All of the fields I'm showing inside the lightning input. Now, in order to show or hide, I'm using template if as well. Now, basically, what's going to happen is that let's say as soon as a person is going to make a change on it, okay, on handle change, what we are going to do is we are going to take the field name and the field value as well okay so basically as soon as person changes uh, like for an example if he changes the field number one we're trying to say whether uh, we are trying to check whether the field name equals to field number one and field value is not equal to null so this means what he has done is he has populated the populated the field number one okay as soon as he populates the field number one what i'm trying to do is using this temp this dot template dot query selector all i'm trying to get all the lightning input fields that is loop from the loop pair and i'm looping over um, over them each one by one and as soon as i find the field number five what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to make this variable as false so as soon as i find this variable as soon as i make this particular variable as false what's going to happen is that for the fifth input what it's going to do is it's going to hide the fifth input itself okay so this is how you can get uh, for the particular field number if the value is null we are trying to get all uh, all the lightning inputs and we are trying to find whether it's field number five as soon as we find it for that particular field i'm making this dot show hide variable as false and as soon as you do it the fifth input box will be hidden now it's much more easier because it's a fifth but it was a second or third third input box if i wanted to hide the story would be much more different and difficult as well so this was about the first question let's move on to the next question that if there are two wires which is going to execute first let's say i have wire number one and at the rate wire number two okay so these are the two wires that i have okay now in simple terms what do i mean by that is wire number one and wire number two if i have these two wires which is going to execute first now the execution of the wire is not defined okay but you can control it by providing the reactive parameters so let's say i have a reactive parameter let's say they uh, i have created a reactive parameter this dot reactive parameter okay i'm referring this param okay i'm populating this with salesforce in five minutes value and i what i'm doing is in a parameter in the parameter okay i'm passing this particular reactive param right so basically what I'm trying to do is in this wire one, I'm populating this, this dot reactive param variable and I'm passing the same value as a parameter to the second wire. So automatically LWC understands, okay, the reactive property is being used in the wire one. So it's going to go ahead and pick up the wire one. Okay. It's going to execute this so that we have the value of this reactive param first and then it moves to the wire two. So this is how by providing the reactive property and by creating this kind of dependency, you can control the execution of wires okay let's move on to the next question which is the most uppermost parent of a component in an lwc now if you have ever seen an lwc component in the js part we have an export class or uh, export default sorry it's export default okay and our component name for uh, extends lightning element now if you see i have already explained in the one of the interview questions that what happens is basically as we are extending the lightning elements so here the lightning element is the most uppermost parent okay even if you are creating a uh, individual lwc component still it's extending the lightning element and as it's a extending the lightning elements the uppermost parent in all the situation becomes lightning elements because lightning elements will wrap or contain all the lightning web components that you are creating till this point so lightning element basically is the most uppermost parent of a component in an lwc component so this was all about the interview questions that i have discussed in the previous shot if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel